I'm Lisa Clark. And I'm Lindsay Schramm from the North End Organic Nursery. And we are your greenhouse gardening experts. There are a lot of different ways to keep your greenhouse warm during the cold months. There are bullet heaters, mm -hmm. um, which you know tend to be a little bit more expensive because they do take propane. Uh, there are soil cables that run off electricity, um, but they are actually little cables that you can bury in your soil, and if that root zone stays warm and you use a frost blanket, it actually you know raises the ambient temperature in the greenhouse. There's also uh, heat mats or capillary mats that you could mm -hmm. run warm water through if you have some sort of a hot water tank. Another good way to, to heat your greenhouse is just with a simple greenhouse heater. They're readily available, they're economical to use, and a lot of times that's all you're going to need in order to heat a small greenhouse space and keep the temperature uh, above freezing. And a lot of it has to do with what part of the country you're in. If you're in a place that has a mild winter, there's no reason that you actually would need any amount of heating, it's just depending right. on what you're trying to grow. So if you're in a high elevation, colder area um, where you get sub-zero temperatures, you're probably going to need some sort of actual external heat like a bullet heater or the capillary mats. But if you're in a more moderate climate, maybe not tropical, but where you have winters that the temperatures kind of hover around freezing without dipping too far below, you could probably just get away with a um, black plastic bucket idea where right. you fill it up with water and it radiates heat out. Um, and or just having enough biomass in your soil, composting inside your greenhouse is a really popular sustainable way to be able to heat your greenhouse because as the compost heats up, um, it actually radiates that heat out into the greenhouse and then you get compost all year long too.